family's mail has finally arrived. Yes, and what's happening between renegades and PKs is called a stalemate. I found the last. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. A girl had him. She's 10 or something. She didn't kill him, just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. Ah, it looks like a constellation on your arm. Those are rank tattoos. When we ran low on resources, tattoos eventually replaced medals. They show our hierarchy. Like in prison? Prison or military, it's all the same. There's always a pecking order. I did what you wanted. It's your turn. Get me to the center. Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Aider, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this. Token of gratitude. Aider, I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop, too. My wife and kids are there. And I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me, or you can wait until I find him myself. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Oh, bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes, as a matter of fact. But this is totally hush-hush. Word of this cannot get out. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy, carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. The men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that little trophy, then you found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy, carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. The men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that little trophy, then you've found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. Found a leader. Worried about me, are you? Of course. I have high hopes for you, Aiden. Meet me outside. 
Hey, Ader, got a minute? You telling me you've already figured out who the murderer is? Not yet, but I have other questions. Just be quick about it. Do you know anything about a man named Walt? A long time ago, when I was a soldier patrolling the streets of the Central Loop, I ran into a renegade squad. I was alone. Scared, but I stood my ground. They almost killed me. But their leader stepped in, told them to stop. He looked me in the eye and he said, why is such a brave soldier on Matt's leash and not mine? When you wise up, come to Williams' stronghold. He gathered his squad and then they were gone. It wasn't until later that I found out it might have been Waltz. He wanted to recruit me. You mentioned you wanted to go back to the Central Loop because of your family. Yeah, they're everything to me. You know, since Lucas's case got stuck, I've been wondering, is it possible that my obsession with getting promoted, taking more missions, that I neglected my family? Ah, never mind. Almost everyone under my command has someone in the Central Loop. Everyone wants to go back there. Was Commander Lucas a good leader? Too good. Sometimes I even wish he wasn't so competent. What do you mean? You know, he's a tough act to follow. You might have heard that not all of my men value me. But once we find the body, everything will change. I'll regain their trust. What all about it? I'm contemplating a bold new direction in distilled arts, but sadly, I'm not able to serve you right now. Wait, distilled arts serve me? Yes, I'm a bartender, and not only am I looking to revive the lost art of mixology, but I plan on reinventing it. How so? Through the infusion of special herbs and booze, not only to make it taste great, but to give it healing properties. So, what's the problem? You see, the wrong amount of even the finest ingredients could be the difference between creating a refreshing healing cocktail and deadly poison. Only one person can help me achieve the right results and they say she is a witch. Well, how can a witch help you become a better bartender? A mixologist, and she's not a witch really, but a healer. The superstitious call her a witch. Ah, oh, so she makes potions and such. Indeed. And only she possesses the knowledge of combining ingredients properly to ensure I'm not poisoning my new customers. A carrier told me that this woman uses the guts of infected in her potions. Can you believe that? Not really. But you can see how it would be easy to create a deadly poison as a healing potion, right? So this so-called witch lives somewhere in the city? In the central loop, where the buildings reach the sky. Behind the bank, I hear. Yeah, naturally. Where else would you find a witch if not behind a bank? How droll. Anyhow, I need her expertise to reinvent mixology. With her knowledge of herbs and my bartending skills, everyone will want to come and drink my cocktails. Don't think you'll have to try too hard to convince people to drink booze. Oh, but you see, this won't be just any common hooch. Each will be a handcrafted work of alcoholic art. Well, when you put it that way, I'll keep an eye out for her if I make it into the city center. But I would be eternally in your debt, and the first drink would be on the house. I'm going to start with the bazaar. Figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless... Do you prefer the girl? Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's... You'll see. Aren't you going? You can't quit me, can you? 
I told you. I look into Carl. Gonna see what I can dig up here. <laughs> 